Shook it up. Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday. It is the 14th of November. It's about 9 a.m. I've been up since about 8. This is the first day I've slept in. Lex is just rising, as you can see. First day I've gotten up after seven really in the past week because jet lag. Doggies have been fed. Is that your new bed, Bales? Do you like your new bed? Good girl. So this is the new house. I'll do a full tour when I have it all the way I want it. Focus on me, focus on me. The fringe is back, as you can see. I dared to get it back because Lex loves it. And my coffee, I made it about half an hour ago, so put it in the microwave. It tastes gross, but it has my collagen in it, so I need to have that. My routine at the moment is get up, feed the dogs early, walk them early, get it done, then go to the gym early. As you can see, there's a trend because the clocks have gone forward or back, I can't remember, but uh, end of summer savings time so it's getting dark really early so i have to feed the dogs and walk them a lot earlier in the evenings I need to get it done so it's nice to get home and get into a new routine because i'm jet lagged i wake up at crazy times and fall asleep at crazy times so it's the perfect opportunity to reset your clock i'm back to tracking my food i haven't eaten yet so coffee first port of call i ate the last of my protein muffins yesterday so i need to make some new ones today Later on today, I go into Shrewsbury, which is the town centre, it's about 10 minutes away, and I will be looking at the Christmas lights being turned on with my new friend Danny, because I made a new friend. Yay! And Danny does my lashes, and it's always nice, no matter what age you are, to have new friends, and she's cool, and we get to hang out. So later on, I will take you through my workout today, which is a quad and calf workout. And yes, I am back training quads because I'm no longer competing. And the reason I had stopped training quads because I'm quite quad dominant and I didn't want them getting any bigger and fuller for the competition. But now that the competition is over, I'm embracing my strong legs and getting back to it. And I really miss training them because I love leg press, I love leg extension, all that jazz. So back to big legs. As we've moved, I've had to do a lot of things like change my insurance details, change my bank card, my driver's license, change my local GP. And oh my God, was it like the Spanish Inquisition getting into my local GPs. But I think I've passed. I hope I have, because you know, you wanna have a GP in case you get sick. Not that I am sick, but you never know. If you're sick, it just comes. And so always change your GP, very important. And a lot of times the GPs in local areas like this can be quite full. So who knew? My hair's a little bit darker as well. I've gotten rid of the highlights. I haven't made any recipes since I've been here, so I'll have to do that as well. So Lex is going to London this morning. He's going on his motorbike because it's nice and dry and he's going to spend some time with Sean Stafford. They are working on a podcast that will be coming out soon and I've made him some breakfast. So this is the Saksuka or Shakshuka. Please comment below with the correct pronunciation of this dish. And it has three eggs, tomatoes, goat's cheese. We've got some low carb bread on the side for dipping in. And he does not look in any way ready, but that is Lex's illusion that he likes to give. Isn't that right, Mr. Yeah. Griffin? I'm packing. He's packing, he just isn't dressed. The dogs have settled into the new house now, and they're not being naughty, they seem to really enjoy it. We've got some really good dog walks, and Bailey is sitting like a teddy bear, as you do. Breakfast, walk, I've been doing a little bit of creativeness and because it is kind of Thanksgiving leading into Christmas I just did this. I think it looks really cute. So I got some pine cones, some dried oranges and just put it in a big jar and I want to add in some cinnamon sticks as well and then just have it looking really you know, autumnal slash Christmassy. You probably want to see the house but I will do a proper dedicated tour of the house once I have it all finished and the way I want it to look. 
This week I've gotten back to tracking my macros. I am still currently slightly in a deficit because I have to increase my food gradually so that I don't gain a load of weight. But we are back to tracking and feeling good, eating healthy, and that's all that matters. Lex is away today, as I said, but we're going to get shit done. I have to build an office. I have a lot to do around the house. My mum and Lex's mum come this weekend, so I want the place to look all nice and homely and warm. So, lots to do. Now 10.30, Lex has just left for London and normally I have walked the dogs by about 9am. I like to get everything done really early just to get the day started but I did have a little bit of a sleep in and I was getting Lex kind of prepared for off. So now to get the Wellingtons on and go out and walk these dogs. I can't bring the camera with me because I cannot surprisingly control two dogs and a camera. So maybe next time. It's now 11 a.m. I am just in from the dog walk. Looking a bit disheveled. Dogs are just outside waiting to come in. I kind of put them out in the garden. Come on, in you come. And I'm gonna have some breakfast. So I think I will have some oats and some fruit. And you can hear some laundry going on. And then I will hit the gym. Try and get in there before 12. So I've got an hour to just chill out, have some breakfast. So I actually decided against oats. I fancied a bit of a cooked breakfast because I haven't had one in a while. So this is what I am having for the pre-workout brekkie. So we have some bacon medallions, the extra lean ones. There's very little fat on these. I get these from Muscle Food. We've got some chestnut mushrooms, which I grilled. I also grilled some of these little tomatoes with a bit of basil on top. We've got egg whites. So I use these happy egg whites from Muscle Food. And then about 15 grams of the Eat Lean grated cheese in the egg whites. We've got a Warburton's protein thin drizzled in some of the marmite because I love marmite and a little bit of clover light. I'm going to add some of this honey mustard style sauce that I get from Muscle Food. Oh my god it is so good guys. They have loads of different flavours of the callow fit. It is just yummy and just guilt free. So I'm going to add that on top and that is breakfast. So it's time for my pre-workout coffee and I am making it today with some of this. Rebel Kitchen Milk and it's a skimmed one. It's dairy free, completely organic, completely good for you, full of goodness and there's coconut cream, Himalayan salt, brown rice, cashew and nutritional yeast. So if you're vegan or you're just lactose intolerant and you're looking for another alternative that is super healthy with no additives in it, this should be your go-to. They do have a semi-skimmed and a full fat milk. That's with a Y because obviously it's not real milk. Um, and the macros are pretty damn good on it too. So per 100, it's three grams fat, 4.2 grams of carbs. And I have to change the battery in my camera. So back to what I was saying about the macros on the Rebel milk. So Rebel kitchen milk. Really good macros in the skimmed one. I prefer the skimmed one because obviously I'm watching my fat intake. But if you're like Lex and you're taking in a little bit higher fat, the full fat one is the perfect option because it's made with coconut cream. It has to be good for you. It has to be. And I'm trying to look at eating healthier foods and filling myself with less processed foods um, and go-tos. So taking in more like sweet potatoes and things like that for carbs. And then obviously, keeping the dairy low because dairy is fine I'm not vegan I'm not anti-dairy but you should be keeping your dairy a little bit low just for the environment and for other health reasons so I'm having this milk I feel like it should be milk because it has Y in it and you can pick these up from muscle food you can get everything from muscle food now the other day I got my chopped tomatoes I got chickpeas I got loads of things that you wouldn't think because everyone I think thinks that muscle food is like all meat but it's not there were loads of vegan options and loads of like your regular go-to groceries for a very reasonable price so back to coffee time pre-workout go to the gym get home I've got an ounce of delivery coming later and to be honest my ounce of delivery has reduced lately because I'm getting a lot of stuff from muscle food. 
And yes, it does froth. We have frothy milk on our coffee. That's the Gilmore Girls with my coffee. It's frothy. Oh, it's really good. This has got like that coconut flavoring to it. It's kind of sweet. I like it. Yay, I've just upgraded my coffees. I hadn't tried it in coffee before, I just used it in baking. Yum. Yeah, that's really good. So recommendation, rebel milk. So the dogs are all tucked away in their bed and in the lounge and when I'm not picking out my ears, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the gym, I have my hair tied up because I mean business. And I'll grab my handbag, some water, I've had my coffee, so I'm set to go. Let's do this, quad day. Everybody put them drinks up, put them up. There's some left, you better drink up. And drink it on X. Oh, you wanna know why? Watch, cause we all gon' bounce. bounce. Now the sun gone down. Don't say money, cause we go all Don't out. Say money. I ain't on gon' flex. Pour it back, back, back it on. We all gon' bounce. bounce. Now the sun gone down. Don't say money, cause we go Don't all out. Money. Yeah, back it on X like a biggie Big. Money, more problems, but I still make a milli nah, I get a milli at the bank oh, yeah. Spend it on the drink, get the shots, go ahead, get tips, tips. Keep it real, roll back the seat Hold tight when you ride with me Hold tight, watch out Yeah, we might get off the street Go from left to the right, hit the curb like skr, skr, skr. Never roll alone Top down, heads out, bad bitch on the corner star Why she over there? Pour the drinks, pour the drinks that don't stop Make it fucking rain for the girls who don't drop, drop. Now we might just rage again Get the shots in the Mary Jane It's that stage oh again day. Cause we go all night and we just don't sleep No lifeguard but we're going in deep Let me see them hands now, where's my G's? And this shut down, you know me She know me, I know you I know we Cause we all gon' bounce, bounce. Now the song gone down Don't say money cause we go all out I ain't know I'm gon' flex Pour it back, back, back it on We all gon' bounce me. Are you excited to see me on my home? Woo! <laughs> Are you, darling? Are ya? No. Good girl. Good girl. Roxy gets a rub too, Bailey. Come on. Come on. <laughs> In from the gym. I'm gonna have something to eat now. Post workout. Carbs. I think I'm gonna have some fruit. Maybe some yogurt. And yeah, just get something into me, keep me going, and then maybe get some lunch. And that's my day. So I've got me a big bowl of health going on here. I have some apple, some persimmon or sharon fruit, and some strawberries. I topped it with some natural quark, which is quite plain and no flavor to it because I ran out of all my vanilla ones. So I've used some of the Walden's Farm maple walnut syrup just to add a little bit of sweetness. And that is my post-workout meal. As I said, I am trying to be a little bit more health conscious and eat less processed foods. I'm going into Shrewsbury later and there'll probably be some yummy processed foods on the go. So right now we're going for health.
that's what life's about balance you can enjoy your treats but you can also get your vitamins and minerals and everything that's important for life and for a healthy body because you should never take for granted your health because your health is your wealth so look after your body now and then when you're 60 and 70 and 80 you'll be in great health and be able to enjoy all the cupcakes and everything because you'll still be rumbling around and going to the gym that's my little health update for you guys so I was just talking to someone about it recently so I'm just having a snack of these and they're super tasty the roasted peas I know they don't sound very appetizing but they are a good low fat alternative to nuts and they have 3.9 grams of fat, 14 grams of carbs, and 7 grams of protein per portion. And I know it only looks like a small portion, but because they're only like little peas and they have the flavouring on them, they actually go a long way and are quite filling. So the Asda delivery has arrived and it's a super healthy one. Sometimes you see on someone else's feed or on someone else's YouTube and that's why you're here to get inspiration for meals and for health. And you kind of forget about certain things. So I'm just going to remind you of all the health that's out there that you can get from the supermarket. Working up here, we have a lot of the veggies. So we have some baby spinach, which I will add to omelets and to a lot of dishes. I just love my spinach and it's packed full of iron, so very good for you. Lex adores parsnips. So I got him some parsnips and I usually just roast them in the oven with a little bit of olive oil and some seasoning. I love pink lady apples. I just love to crunch them, they're super sweet. They're definitely my favorite apples and I definitely want a day to keep the doctor away. We have some creamy mash for Lex. I'm just not a big fan of peeling and mashing potatoes, so I'm super lazy when it comes to it. And it's handy to have these either in the fridge or the freezer. I've also got some sweet potato mash and then a classic mash that has less fat in it. We've got some tender stem broccoli tips. Again, some health, has some iron, some vitamin C in there. We've got some asparagus tips. I just love asparagus. Love it. Great for water retention. Lex likes his streaky bacon. Um, I'll either just grill that or add it to dishes. Got some mushrooms. I get through a fair few chestnut mushrooms every week. Some garlic. Again, no harm in adding some flavour to your food. Some jumbo king prawns, which are always handy on a day where you've forgotten to take out some chicken or some meat for dinner, and you can just make yourself a prawn stir fry. Got some garden peas, again, great for adding into cottage pies. Recipe for my cottage pie is up on my cooking channel. And they're just handy to have in the freezer to add in some health to dishes. We've got some regular potatoes because, yes, I give in and I do make a Lex some roasty potatoes or just chop them up, dice them up and roast them in some olive oil for him. I'm not a fan of regular potatoes. Got some blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, again, all for just fruit salads. I am loving fruit and berries right now. Got some crinkle cut butternut squash chips. Again, I'm pretty lazy and I don't have time to be cutting up big old butternut squash. So it's just handy. It's already pretty done. I can just throw them in the oven. Okay, not so healthy, but I've got some Pepsi Max. I have been limiting myself to one can a day. I've got some ham, which I either use in recipes for chicken or just simply add to a sandwich for a nice little cheese and ham toasty. We've got a big thing of quark cooking cheese. You saw me earlier, I added it to the top of my fruit, but you can all, I use it a lot in baking as well. Um, these yummy yumminess are little cheesecakes. I haven't tried the raspberry one before, but that looks pretty good. And I'm not into lemon. I usually get the vanilla one for myself, but Lex loves them. They have really good macros and they're just like in these really cute little ramekins as well that you can just clean and save and keep. Um, again, Lex loves his double cream in his coffee right now. He weighs it out and just get a little tub of that. We've got some regular Philadelphia for Lex and some of the lightest Philadelphia for me because I am on lower fats. Then the Kabarg yogurts. If you have not tried them, obviously Lex and I have a bit of an obsession. I like the vanilla and the chocolate chip one, but Lex likes the raspberry and the blueberry vanilla one. I've got some bay leaves, again, just to add into recipes. They add loads of flavor. Onion and garlic granules are a staple in most of my dinners. We've got some chocolate chips, which I use in bacon, and I throw on the top of my oats and they just make them super chocolatey, add the chocolatey flavor without too many calories. 
I've got these mini meringue shells which are always handy for a little bit of a dessert you can just add them in with a little bit of halo top ice cream and some fruit and you got yourself a banging dessert and then I've got the fry light I usually use the butter one and the garlic one so we get through a fair bit of that each week that is my healthy grocery haul it's coming up to 4 p.m. now so I'm probably going to feed the dogs walk them take in some laundry off the washing line and then I'm going into Shrewsbury to see the lights being turned on. I may also do a physique update. I'm not super shredded guys, um, but I think it's important to show you a more realistic physique for someone who has not been counting their calories. I took a whole week off training when I was in LA. I'm just back the past week and a half and I am loving my training right now, but it's okay to not always be super shredded and not always have abs and that should not be your main goal. You should not have the main goal of getting abs. It is nice to set yourself goals occasionally, but to have goals 24-7, 365 is very unattainable for a lot of people. So set yourself little goals and just be happy and healthy in your body and that should be your main goal all the time. Be happy, live your life, exercise, eat healthy, balance. I am up in my changing room and I am going to do a quick physique update but I just wanted to share with you guys a product. And you know I don't like doing product placements and I don't like being pushing products on you guys but this, this turtle pillow was a lifesaver when we travelled and I was meant to vlog about it when I was in LA and then I just did my Disney vlog and didn't get to include it. So I'm including it now because normally I get back from traveling and I have like a stiff neck for about a week or two afterwards from like falling asleep or trying to fall asleep on planes and all that jazz. But these are so handy. Now this is the basic original pillow. As you can see, it's kind of like a structure, like a proper solid structure because it's designed by architects and it just kind of goes around here you wrap it round and it like looks like a scarf when you're on the plane or on a bus or whatever and it's actually really comfortable and it keeps you upright like you can do it that way you can simply and it just folds away really small as well because when you're traveling i find that a lot of the neck braces that you get for traveling are you know cumbersome they take up so much room but look how small this is and you can literally wrap it around the top of your bag and you can use it like this like a little so it's the handiest little pillow ever and they are having a black friday sale so i'll link it down below i really love teaming up with products that you know i really truly use and i did use it i used it a lot when we were away even when we were just sat on the couch i had this behind me because it's comfortable and you can use this just for your phone as well so it's multi-purpose, it's comfortable, it's soft, and I love it. And go check out their Black Friday sale because it's the perfect opportunity, even if you don't travel a lot, maybe your mum does or some of your family members do, it's the perfect stocking filler. They're about 25 pounds in around that and there is a Pillow Plus which has adjustable height if you've got someone who travels a lot and you wanna give them something extra special. And it's just a perfect little present that you can just add to someone's gift. You just get it for yourself, be selfish. Anyway, moving on to the next phase. I'm really hot because I just put away all the groceries. So guys, I'm gonna do a quick physique update just to show you guys what I look like right now. I am a little bit softer, but I'm very happy in myself and in my mood and in my mental health. And being a little bit softer, it's not the worst in the world because I'm still happy, I'm healthy, and that's the main thing. So don't get hung up on having shreds. You can still train and eat nice food and eat healthy and still have a little bit fat and still be a good person so don't get hung up on the abs because it's not the be all and end all leave 
the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed my latest vlog of a new happier, healthier Lainey that you come back and watch next time as I bring you through another day in my life. It's nice to be back on YouTube sharing my life and sharing my healthy life with you guys and hopefully I'll see you very soon. Cause if I only had a hundred fans I'd take them all to dinner Talk about the people that we used to be If I had a hundred fans Buy them all the parents Ain't nobody paying I'd be buying the drinks And we would party And we would dance And we would throw up all them hands Until they turn to clouds Yeah, I got you now If I only had a hundred fans Life's too short to be an asshole